Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Juliana and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about a novella that I read yesterday, no, I read Friday, I'm filming this on Saturday but I'm only going to post this on Sunday, so today for you, but I read this on Friday uh, and this is a novella by Doris Lessing, Adore. I had previously seen the movie with Naomi Watts and Robin Wright. The movie was my first contact with the story and then later I found out that this was based on a novella. And I purchased the novella but for a long time it although it is a novella and it is very quick to read it's only like I don't think it has 100 pages I read it on ebook so I don't know how many pages it will have in, in a physical form but it's really really fast to read and but as, uh, as I was saying, my first contact with the story was with the movie. And the movie is from 2013. It's the cover, the cover of the, um, the novella that is the cover of the movie as well uh, that I put on my thumbnail. So what you are seeing are the actors that portrayed the characters. And, well, first of all, let me talk about, let's start to talk about the, no, the novella, yeah. I want to make it more logical. So, basically, I'm not sure if I want, as it, as it is a novella, it's so short, it's really hard to talk about something so short and not give spoilers so I just will give you a disclaimer maybe I will give you some give you some spoilers but at the same time you don't lose anything if you know the gist of the story because the point is for you to well okay I give in. I'm going to try not to give you any spoilers, okay? So I'm going to sprinkle what the story is about and then I will talk briefly about the movie, my um, perspective on it and the differences between the novella, the right of, the, of Doris Lessing and uh, the movie. The movie is by who? So the movie is directed by Anne Fontaine and it is Fontaine's first English language film. I don't know this director, other works by this director, so I, I don't have references to give you. But I have to say that I loved the movie and that was why I wanted to read the original format, the original source. Okay, so at the beginning of this novella, we have a waitress in cafe near the beach. I, I'm not really sure if, I don't think the location exactly of where this is passing on is given. I think you can imagine in English spoken country, but my feeling is that this is in Australia. But now I don't... Does it have one university? Or this is in England? Now I'm not sure, I'm sorry. But that's a detail. What, what the point is, um, the relationships between people. So that uh, waitress uh, is doing her job, right? She is working and there comes by a family that she knows. 
very well and that she has a crush on we we find out so there comes two children two uh, little girls around five to six years old and there comes two adult men blonde and beautiful as she describes them and then after them they they come two older women around 60 years old also blonde and we find out that this is mothers and sons and the little girls are uh, daughters the daughters of the sons right so grandmothers fathers and daughters and uh, the waitress uh, revealed she's 19 years old and she's on the verge of leaving uh, to England. Right, so I think this is in Australia, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, at least is my feeling. So she's on, yeah, now we're, uh, the memory is coming through. Um, she's leaving to England and the mothers and the grandmothers and the sons are talking about it um so to why would she leave and so on and then we have a description of the waitress doing uh, her chores in the cafe and looking at uh, the window outside where this family was seated and crying because she was in love by them and it is kind of um so it is described that she had a crush on ian one of the sons then on tom the other uh, man but also she had a crush on the the grandmothers so she she has I have a crush on them as a whole package and so we have Lil one of the grandmothers Lilian but she's known as Lil and we have Rosian known as Roz another grandmother and they are best friends so then later on after the first part in the cafe we have the a little bit of a throwback um on when lil and rose were uh, younger and when they first met each other so they met in school but a bit a moment i i will get there just for me to describe the first scene and so this waitress perceives that they are talking they are laughing they are having a good time and then it came how is she called mary right i think it's mary yeah mary and hannah um that it was the wife of tom and this family the grandmothers and the sons were all blonde and beautiful all four of them but the wife of tom was short a bit tan and dark hair and this this we have the the thoughts of this waitress being described and she thinks that this mary the wife of tom is not worth to be by the side of tom beside of tom you know to be his wife basically uh, she's she she doesn't have the qualities that this waitress thinks that she should have have or should have to be Tom's wife but then we have the description of what this waitress is seeing and that is, that is that this woman this Mary has letters on her hands and she's a bit disturbed so she's not um, 
very well, it seems. Something is troubling her and she is not going to sit by the side of the, the grandmothers and the husband and his friend and their daughters. So she sits on another table and she's looking at them like in an angry manner. Yeah, a, a kind of disturbing look. So then she, she approaches the table, Mary, she approaches the table and her daughter was sleeping in the, in the lap of her grandmother, Roz, and the daughter wakes up, the child wakes up and they, and the other child also wakes up because of the noise and they w go to the lab of Mary and Mary takes this, these, the, the children because she's getting, she's getting flared up and Ross says is, if, is everything all right and she says no and the, the children want to go back to the grandmothers but Mary grips them and doesn't let doesn't let them go because the children were saying that they wanted to go to the beach uh, but Mary like almost with tears in her eyes was saying that they wouldn't go to the beach and then I don't know if it was Roz or Lil but one of them asked if she if they could go later or in another day uh, and she re and Mary responded that her or they will never see them again, something like that. And she goes off and goes to Hannah, the wife of Ian, because Mary and Hannah were friends, as well as Tom and Ian. So then we have a, a throwback to the childhood or better the first um, time that Ross and Lil met each other and it was described that they were seen as uh, best friends to all and they it was like they were sisters it was like they were twins so their relationship was so close that people would, although they didn't s were alike at all, because Lil was more thin, more athletic, and Roz was more voluptuous and had a, a, a bigger body. So although they didn't have similarities physic physically, they were seen as almost sister, sisters or as though they were sisters and they were so the their parents became friends as well because of the daughters and they spent um, time in each other's houses so they have a really really close relationship and that went through their whole lives and so we get the descriptions on how they met their husbands, what their husbands do as a job or did as a job. Uh, then the, they got pregnant with boys, Tom and Ian. So Tom is Rod's son and Ian is Lil's son. Then we have uh, Roz's husband when they when they when this when Tom was about Tom and Ian were about 17 years old telling her that she that he got um, a job an opportunity to be a professor in a new university up north so far away from the sea and uh, Roz told him that he could visit and she could visit him through the weekends but you know that wasn't Ross's husband's idea he wanted them 
both uh, wife and son to come with him, with him live up north but of course that wasn't Ro's intentions she didn't want to, to move and her husband accused her in a way of not wanting to be far away from Lil and that she had a relationship with Lil and not with him his husband, her husband. And then, you know, they got a fight in there and so on. But the thing is, is that he moved up north and eventually they got divorced. And Roz worked as an actress and as a theater producer. And Lil was an athlete all her life and she would be... Um, like a judge for sports competitions and she will do speeches, she will be invited to sports events and Lil's husband had a big company on with uh, sports stores so he was well off. Although that their marriage uh, wasn't so smooth, eventually Lil's husband ended up dying in a car crash, I think. Um, she, you know, it, it, it was, although he wasn't really present because he was always traveling and Lil knew that she had mistresses. Uh, for Ian, although he wasn't a present father, Ian got uh, a really hard time because of his father's death uh, and it was he, he, all, he always was a bit intro, of an introvert and a bit depressed and a sad person and so with his father's death uh, that didn't got better it got worse right so this is the basic that you have to know Perhaps I'm going to stay here. Um, so what can I say is that this is about relationships and loving relationships. The mothers grew together all her life, uh, her life, their lives. Um, they were neighbors, like close neighbors. And then their sons were also close neighbors and they become friends as well close friends like themselves so it was a continuation of the relationships and so after that what we have is um, exploration of what is perhaps permitted or not or Permitted is not the right word, but perhaps what is permitted in the eyes of society, should I say. So it's the exploration of loving relationships and sexual relationships that will interfere in the lives of these four characters, the mothers and the sons. I gave you a sprinkle, a sprinkle of what happens in the first scene of the novella. I gave you the development, the first part at least, of the novella. And then I'm being a bit, a bit vague of what is the juice of this novella. So it's really fast to read. So you don't have an excuse like I, I didn't myself, although I took a long time to come around and read it. Um, of course it's a novella, so it's going to be, at least it, this is my opinion uh, and it was how I felt. It, f it felt like too short, you know, like you wanted more development in some descriptions um, of the characters, thoughts, 
of the characters' dialogues, more depth, you know, because this story, as I'm going to explain, comparing to the movie, because I have mixed feelings about this novella in a written form. And I think that is because I saw the movie first. So the movie, I have to say, as you are seeing the portrayal of the emotions that this story brings in the characters, it's more gripping. I think it's the term. So it's more raw, raw, you know? So you have the, the anguish, you have the despair, you have the disappointment, you have every emotion possible being portrayed there, the passiveness, the, so each character has his own moments and it's like an onion, it has layers and of course that there is a relationship here that marked me the most and I suppose it will be a general feeling in all readers or all watchers of the movie um, because it's the relationship that is more visceral in my opinion and the other relationship it's I think it has a twist in the movie that it's more, it gives more of what they were feeling and on the novella, on the written novella, you don't have really, you don't know for sure if the character was really in love or was really truthful to the wife or was truthful to the other person. I'm trying to be vague, okay? And the movie has scenes like sceneries and um, nature sceneries and ocean sceneries that are really beautiful. So just for a visual aspect is really beautiful. But you have to understand this is not about a plot. This is more character driven, character development and the climax of the movie is a separation between people, couples, should I say. And the other climax is the discovery of a betrayal that ends up being the trigger to another separation. This might be confusing, but if you read and if you watch the movie, everything will make sense. And I think this is a really beautiful story. Although, in my opinion, I think the movie worked a bit better. Because, of course, I don't have, I don't, I don't want to take any merit from the novella, the written novella because the written novella was the original idea, so the idea for the movie came from somewhere, right? And so the movie makers or the directors, or in this case a director, had the basis to do better and in my opinion she achieved that. So she was a step, she went a step forward in the movie. And I think it gave more palpable nuances and of course the portrayals of the actors are really incredible, I have to say. In many aspects, the things that happen in the written novella happen in the movie. So I think in that way the director was really faithful to the story, but she made little changes and little additions that I think gave um, added value to the movie. So I think you should read the novella. As I was saying, it's not going to take any time at all. Uh, so you have a basis, a story basis, 
and then go watch the movie. It's so beautiful, it's so touching and it's human relations. Yeah. <laughs> and how in the movie they have kind of an explanation for what happens. It's like they are compliments to each other. So they compliment each other. If you have seen it or if you are going to see it, you will go to understand what I mean. Because he said, I think I didn't rewatch the movie because that's not too much that that wasn't too long ago that I watched I rewatched it. Uh, but I remember very much about the scenes of the movie. Uh, and yeah, I think there is a narrator in some points in the story. And the narrator explains that there are complementary, complementary aspects between the characters. Okay, so... This is my recommendation to you if you haven't read or didn't know about a movie or about a novella or if you did know about a movie like myself and didn't know about a novella, here you have an opportunity to check it out. I really advise you to. It's a kind of in, an interesting exploration of human relationships and human relations in general and how sometimes you love who you love and that's it so there we go i hope you have enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel if you haven't sub subscribed already Le um, press the ring bell button to all so you can receive all my notifications leave a like it helps a lot the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. And I see you on the next one. Bye!